This um, pantomime was huge. It was the concept of Pauline Griffin, who um, lived around near Bells, and uh, it was a cast of thousands. In those days, we didn't have a preschool, so as you as you watch this, you'll realise that we had to get heaps of people in and out through the kitchen and along the slippery slopes at the back of the hall and through the kitchen window. Now that was always fun in full costume, getting through the window. And once we were out the window, then we had to get down a ladder at the back where now the, um, I think the tanks and things are. That's June Lamb. And uh, a lot of people remember June. She's still around. Um, that, and that Judy. That's, yeah, that's Judy. Riddell. Now Judy Riddell was Judy Slater. And that's Graham Vick, who went on to write some stuff for us in later shows. There's Judy. No, I only have been in love with you. That's <laughs> <laughs> I regret only I did not take the other. And that's Annie Blackson. Well, 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 Blackson. Trudy made all these costumes and still makes the, all the costumes for her ballets. Um, nor did we have inter interlace and, and Lizzie Brand to help us with costumes, so we all made our costumes went through our wardrobes and that outfit that I'm in there and that stripy um, outfit was just a pair of um, the top I had and a few scarves and you made, did your own makeup. Ali Bad and Ali Worse. We made our own costumes and we made our own fezzes. And uh, made up the routine, the dance routine. I think you've still, you've still got that one, haven't you? <laughs> was all important. I mean, if we hadn't had the audience to, to keep us going, that looks like Johnny Rossini there. Kiss Johnny. And Jeff Leeson, Jeff Leeson. Our, our taxi owner. And the famous Bruce Lane. Well, we Who, finally got him into some shows, didn't we? Yeah. Beards were de rigueur, Everybody, a lot of men had beards in those days. Simon Riddell. That was me, actually. Was it? Yes. <laughs> you didn't have a beard. I did. The fringe of the forest. <laughs> 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 ladies, we must leave. It would be too dangerous. <laughs> 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 <laugh
Kevin Stapley being thrown into the chair. And Brucey, I didn't realise that Brucey was in quite so many shows because he was very um, shy about doing that sort of thing. Well, here I am, with, I'm, I'm the boring housewife that never got out of her dressing gown in this one. Um, these were a series of little plays that we were put on in one night, and uh, I think that was uh, my mother's dressing gown. <laughs> All right. And this is the first appearance of Bob Green, who went on to be, of course, and Junie Lam. Junie Lam with a black curly wig. I think she should wear her hair like that all the time. Also, she looks pretty and well endowed in that. Don't think she's quite as well endowed. Oh, shouldn't think so. I remember that backdrop was a big thing. I can't remember who made that with the black and white um, checks, but that was used a lot in shows before we had our Netty Lodge to paint all the beautiful backdrops that we get now. And that's Annette Freeland. And this is Corin Nicholson, who was the wife of Darcy Nicholson, who was a famous character on the island. I'm sure you wouldn't understand. One day, while her father, King Learjet, and I were out on a hunting trip... There's so many the people that have been and gone, it's what? sort of... Fantastic to be remember them again, and sad to think they're not here any longer. Sure, John. Oh, now this was a fabulous show um, that Graham Vick wrote, produced, and directed, and, and I think he even composed the music for Flash Morgan. And there's Bob Green being Flash Morgan. Oh my God. So far. <laughs> <laughs> you be quiet and be on your way. Listen, flash face. Look, and that is Hub Regtop. He and Di Regtop lived um, on the northwest corner of the island. He was a very shy person. A lot of shy people were pushed into the drama society as a way of <laughs> expressing themselves. We were always short of men. I'm in the middle there uh, with um, Carmen and um, Jackie, Agent Orange's wife, Jackie. Uh, what's her surname? She was out there at the Pat Pat race this year. June Lamb again. Doing a very Edna. I mean, she could have been as good as Edna, do you think? <laughs> with her wonderful glasses. Green before he became Frank Sinatra. <laughs> By the way, how did you get out That's today? Annette Freeland again. <laughs> that little dance routine was called Putting on the Ritz. That's Philip Bond there with that head of hair just bending down. No. That was Pauline Griffin, actually. In the morning, it means half past two. Um, we just missed so if you hear it strike really 16 during your so slumbers, do not rise. I will most thump into my own heart. Brian Clark went on to direct and produce a She even snows in her sleep. Shows for us. I'll do it. Which I appeared in in the 90s. This is all in the a 80s. Drink at all Gosh, friends. 22 years ago. <laughs> Gail, Gail with the eyelashes. Oh my goodness. She had huge long artificial eyelashes that we all wondered if she slept in them. <laughs> well, maybe there were a couple of guys who might have been able to tell us. <laughs> 
Sleep through the noise, you three mates. He can sleep through anything. <coughs> Detestable <coughs> vulgarity. <coughs> Your pronunciation jars of, of all the artful. I arrest you for the willful murder. Pow! <coughs> Is this just this hell? I ought to know he was going to eat more ceiling. <coughs> True. This case is more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> now do it. The horse slash. Oh, lovely Lisa Atkins. Ah, yeah. 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 Hey, we might need that before this play is over. That's right. So there you are. I've been looking for you fellows ever since yesterday carrying this stupid bottle about. Hey, it's only half full. Well, yes, I know, but my father needed some for the barbecue. Yes. Draculas, blokes and bloody fairy outfits. Draculas, blokes and bloody fairy outfits. All bloody poofters if you ask me, mate. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That'll be ten bucks, sir. Cash or card? Trudy's girls again? I don't know what we would have done without Trudy to help us get little dance routines together for all these shows. She was she always did it voluntarily and and she um, trained up some of the guys like Cole Bailey and Ian Holly to do dance routines. <laughs> Up the milk and sugar. Yeah, I say, Pete, Bert tell the old man's not really pleased with the young un. Reckons on going down to show him how it ought to be done. Ah, what's your poison, eh? Mm. Uh, petrol, actually. Hey, these guys are real deviants, eh? <laughs> I guess For the bushmen love hard riding with a wild bush. I mean, I had the spark, and now I shall have the flame. <laughs> Montana, Montana, why didn't you wait? Oh. A great moment at the end. I was going to say, don't forget that we um, didn't have a preschool to escape to. We were all hidden. Now there is Lorna. Lorna Waller. Dorothy she you? No! She had a lovely voice. She's bitten her dog. No! But I don't think you actually hear her singing. Oh, she... oh, and Carmel. Look at Carmel. She has all the munchkins in Bondi. She hasn't changed, really, has she? <laughs> Not a mouse. 
It's hard to tell with the picture in the monitor, that's what I'm doing. I'm deliberately going to high school. Did you cut into the Dennis Carter's wife, that's Judy Carter. This is Bob Lynn's starting his career as a bank senator. Blackwood and of course he's in has been after that in heaps of shows but uh, maybe he was too busy with the Bush Fire Brigade in those days. He was president of the Bush Fire Brigade or, so maybe he hadn't had time to get involved. Oh this is This is a location. Dave piece. was <laughs> look at Dave. He's now your former basement what? that videoed this was this guy called Andrew and he and Dave Walsh and Joey all came to Joey Heather all came to the island together and Andrew died last year very tragically had a massive heart attack died at age 42 and that's sad. Bob, who ran the news agent, we used to have a bottle shop, a news agent, side by side. He's a 
second range is don't do Using Lenny, Lenny the ferry driver, we don't have Lenny here anymore. We used to drive the old Lenny. Fair structure. Lenny would come in the middle of the night and pick you up. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. <coughs> I woke up this morning and uh, going back to blankets to race downstairs and uh, had a cup of tea and uh, lo and behold I leapt out of bed and one leg wasn't there. Yeah, I looked around and there it was, it was still in the bloody bed, wasn't it? Well, I got back into bed and I screwed it back on. But for some reason it's not working properly, so I'm just taking a little crutch here and uh, hobbling along until it gets better. Hello, I'm Mr. Ayer. You've done that before. <laughs> and that one's laughing. <laughs> there's, no room, there's, no guilt. there's guilt everywhere. Right, sweeties, if they're not laughing, they're bloody terrified. <laughs> oh, that's Pink Phil. Stop. Phil who started the water taxis. I didn't realise he so he's towing all these. Uh... Living in this area, everybody's either Pink Phil or... Um, Tommy John. Richard the Brick, Richard the Log. <laughs> Old Joe. Pink Phil went Old off on Bruce. his one. He lived on a, on, a, on a ferry called the Love Boat, not without reason. And uh, he took it north, sank it just outside Terrigal. By mistake, of course. Will all passengers for this flight please proceed to the forward lounge or gate? Have either of you lost use this airline before? No. Oh, is it? Well, they are first in this. Corian? Corian? You know, yeah, you recognise Corian. And, um. Oh, no, I know this show. This is the airline one. This is, yeah. Flight of Fancy, this one's called. Would they give us anything to eat or what? Well, that's what. <laughs> on the annual entertainment. They always get mixed up in it somewhere, you know. Now, Roger and Sylvia um, were so, well, Sylvia particularly, as you know, she used to dance with the Channel 9 dancers, and she was very, very professional. She was terrific, actually. She played the part of, uh, of uh, Queen Guinevere in Camelot. She's very good at dancing and, and Phil, singing. Uh, fell head over heels in love with uh, Sir Lancelot. Yes, with Ernie. They, yeah. had, a bit, they had a bit of an affair. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. For a quick one. Yeah. Nothing, Adele, nothing. That is the trouble. But if you come to this house again, 
I will show you the palm of my hand. Oh, and there's me, and we had never. And, uh, yeah, that's me, and we had this fight. And I, I knew, blew me away when I saw it because boy, when we got a clue, that was me actually. <laughs> what am I twenty years old? And that was, um, uh, look at you, oh, you know, oh, oh, this is too deep, it's like that, and yeah, oh, look at you, and you can say that, can't we? Fair. Where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? Where are the jokes?
obviously did a French view of this uh, yes. and rose and the accents in it. That's correct, yes, that's yes. Crimba's in a lot of those early ones too. Um and I mean I I'm still of sound at John Cable. He could play anything. Yeah, he could get up there this. and be half stone. That's um uh oh. that's Carmel. Look, isn't yeah. she slim? Wow. I didn't want to do it. Oh, that's Lashes. Yes. What? God, she was good. I love that elocution voice. White, she had white, an amazing white, voice. White, 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 white hair? White, white hair. Uh, oh, I just What's the first name? name? Lashes. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is when the place went yeah, on fire. This is, this is William with his yeah, fire is. Oh, William did the fire yeah. in. Yeah, you know, we burnt the hall then. Yeah, it, it, because we had all the bamboo. Yeah. Oh, look at, look at yeah. that, look, going up into the ceiling. Becky had a friend, oh, Becky had a friend that came in, he had this big Afro air style, and the flame shot straight down the aisle and burnt off. <laughs> <laughs> I mustn't have been there that oh, night. Oh, um, Graham Vic. Graham, now, Graham Vic. Vic had a lot of input into yes. a lot of these. He wrote a lot of things. I mean, yeah. it, again, it's... Now that's Michael Freeland, would you believe? Now, oh, yeah. Boyd would have no idea that, that was Tony's brother. Oh, it just happens yeah. to be a fluke that. Yeah. Oh, that, that is, he's a great yeah. mind, yeah. isn't he? Oh, look, yes. for the schools, for the arts, uh, whatever they're called. I remember he ran a, ran a string around every member of the audience and had them doing this business. Oh, really? And the end of the string, he was up on the stage, the string was fastened to a part of his anatomy and he was doing something very rude with it. <laughs> yeah, which Mike attempted to do, yeah. This is the beginning of Joe's garage, I suppose. Who's the former? No, I do. I, That's not Carol Sir. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. With you, sir. 30 days in Sam Arkham Desert with the Duchess of Kent by A.E.J. Elliot, O.B.E. Well, I don't know the book, sir. I don't know the book. Oh. Not to worry, not to worry. Uh, how about 101 <coughs> ways to start a fight? <laughs> on the door. I beg your pardon. On the door, I noticed your notice. It says, uh, please come in. Yeah, it would really. That's what I wrote yes, on Yes, please come in, it says. <laughs> I, I just wanted to say, well, thank you. I have every confidence that you've, you've sent me. Not so fast. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> We've got to talk, haven't we? <laughs> yes, yes. And after that, <laughs> the, the the Denise. 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 Denise Lee. Denise Lee. Denise Lee. Denise Lee. Denise Lee. Denise Lee. Yes, she was. She was very good. Well, 
and a magic pen falling. Oh, look at the bar, poor bastard. 
<laughs> oh, he'd be locked up with you three. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh look at Lashes doing a bit. But you resisted. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Bob, were you in this? No, thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, now, Rod was the Rod guy. Yes, and, and he yes. was Robin. Oh, look at the tits on this mm. fella, it's all up the pole. Yes. 
and me with, with bread. Bread. Oh, bread. Oh, bread. Oh, bread. And look at you. 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 Would you believe again it's Mike Michael's daughter? Would you say? This is the child's turn now. You can't perfectly if you had your son down the arm. That should get you into any yacht club. And if you got an income of over oh, 15. <laughs> And that's uh, William Walker is the wizard. Yeah. And there's our beautiful curtain again. Yeah. Here is the wizard in introducing um, Everyone's Camelot. Smiling in there's Bob Green, he played the part of King Arthur. Yes. This is so, when Angela fell in love with him. That's Sylvie. right. Because Angela was producing you know him. Yes. Sylvie, she was Queen Guinevere. And there they are together. For what purpose? And you'll see the villain of the piece in the moment. Again, the sets are just beautiful. Oh, beautiful. amazing. And there's oh, here's that page book. Yes. <laughs> oh, mm. yeah. oh. There is the villain, Ernie Horton. Oh. Yeah, Ernie Horton. Oh. He broke several hearts during the production oh. of the show. Ernie? Well, why don't you do it? Yeah, that? look at him. He and Sylvie fell hopelessly in love. Yes. Yes. Yes, oh, he married her, yeah. Amidst yeah. all this romance and drama, we're the triumph of the But you put on a bloody good show. It was a lot of fun in those days, watching what was going on behind the scenes as well as in front of the scenes. No. It's time. We knew more than what the audience knew. Yeah. <laughs> that was um, Lange, Caroline.
The raging tide we held inside would hold no more. Before you drift to sleep upon your cards, think back on all the tales that you remember. In the morning for the masters of Yeah. I just 
Gwen Taylor. Gwen Taylor. Yeah, that is Gwen Taylor. He was the squirrel. And that's Lisa. Yeah, that's Lisa. Look at it. Get her. Yeah, Thank God editing's available. Yeah, but how are you going to do that? Oh, he does it. 